So this is our uh, operative room. Um, we've got some equipment here because we're going to have a case uh, later today. Uh, this is the actual robot that's attached to the patient. But these instruments actually, uh, these arms actually are, go right up to the patient. And uh, we have instruments attached to these that go inside the patient. Uh, so this is brought close to the patient. Let me just uh, show you how that works. So this is how the arms move. And these arms are kind of brought right to the patient. And then the surgeon can move the arms around like that. This is another arm. This is uh, where the camera goes. So we have a 3D camera that's placed here. And then this is a second arm. So my left hand will move this arm. And uh, my right hand will move that arm. And then we have a camera right down the middle. And, uh, and this is a mobile unit. So we can move the machine right to the location we want to uh, and right up to the patient, uh, just like that. This is the surgeon's console. So this is the machine that where the surgeon sits. So the patient's way over here, surgeon's over here. And uh, this is a bit like uh, doing a simulator or a video game. Have you ever played a video game before? Uh, we've got uh, your hands go into these little finger slots right here. And the movement of your hands causes, uh, translates into movement of the uh, instrumentation. The other thing that you should know is that we do have pedals. So it's a bit like learning how to drive a car. You do have to use your left foot and your right foot. It moves different instruments around and you can also move your camera using your foot. Um, so this is essentially how the machine works. And then we get three dimensional vision by looking through this viewfinder. And this, basically these two uh, pieces of machinery are how uh, robotic surgery is performed.